comedy time over here. We have Brian Miller. He will be headlining at Goonies Comedy Club in Rochester this weekend. Thanks for being here. Hey, glad to be here. You were at Applebee's. You know, Tiger Woods, he's a fan of Applebee's, famously. Oh, what? Why? I think he dated several waitresses from there before his wife hit his car with a golf club. <laughs> I think he orders off the menu at Applebee's, Tiger Woods, famously. Yeah. Yeah, and that actually has a little bit of um, a correlation to what he did yesterday that we'll talk about. So He's at it we'll again? I think you think he'd at least no, switch it to Chili's. No. You know, maybe a Ruby Tuesday's waitress to mix it up. He got his car bashed in. Yeah. Did he learn anything? Yeah, I guess well, Phil not. Mickelson would never. Uh, he would never. He's in no. Saudi Arabia. They don't even have Applebee's. <laughs> Nick is dying right now. <laughs> Thanks By for the way, here. I was much closer on Dragon than I thought. When I said Dragon and you Do said you that was close. Do you know what the close, answer is? No, all my Scotland knowledge comes from Game of Thrones, which uh -huh. I thought was a documentary about Scotland until the last episode. So. Oh, Nick is dying right now. Nick, you want to join us for the interview? I don't think you're going to be able to contain find yourself. It really, I'm watching Game of Thrones right now, are. so that's, that's why I find it extremely funny. Game of, Game of Thrones is not for me. No? No, I'm a little, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a GPG kind of person. Okay. And there's a lot going on. Yeah, I think you're, you're not, so not, not, no sex in the city? Uh, or, uh, no, 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 no sex at all. More of a bluey all. type, uh, <laughs> more of a uh, bluey. Well, that's I do watch Law and Order. That can get, but I, that's, you know, yeah. serious crime. Yeah. Um, Game of Thrones gets a little racy for me, but I can still, I'll still try. I'm on season one. We're working on it. What if they had the ding ding? What if between every dragon scene, they're ding ding? Would you just go in? Yeah. I'm convinced everyone who watches that show is just Pavlovianly addicted to the sound. Yeah, I think, I think you're right. You hear ding ding. I taught myself like, how to play it down. on the piano, and <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, it's We good. should put some of those in between my segment, and then people will watch even closer. <laughs> they probably will. Ding ding. I'm the Goonies this weekend. Two shows, seven thirty. You should look up what that is. It's. <clears throat> Look what up how it? they made that noise. Yeah. They have to use 500, this is going to sound weird, it's like 500 men in Asia stomping on the floor is part of it. That's really? not fully accurate, but it's something like that. Look it up when you go home. It's so it might strange. be like 475 Asian yes. men. <laughs> but it's, that's how they make the noise in Law, of or, Law and Order. I'm serious. I feel like there's a simpler way to do that than asking 500 right. fine gentlemen like from China and or piano, Taiwan make it, to you stomp know. in time. Seriously. But, you know, hey, I'm going to look works. that up during the commercial break, right. and I'll, I'll let you know. Okay, so you're headlining at Goonies Comedy Club. Yep. You came from Minneapolis. Yep, from here, I'm going to then the Applebee's. I'm going to try to meet some fine people to bring with me, and then I'm at Goonies 730 Okay, you got tomorrow. time to do that. Absolutely. You have time to do that. Yeah. Have I'm you gonna... been to Goonies before? I started at Goonies. Uh, I, so I started comedy about 15 years ago, and I would drive down just to do the Goonies open mic. I would drive an oh, hour okay. and a half down to do three minutes at the open mic. Because when you're new, you got to get stage time, and yeah. so I would do that. And so I, my whole career, I've been working at Goonies, and it's, it's reopened again. I'm excited. Yeah. It's my first time back. You found the new, the new location. I know GPS still like takes people to the wrong spot sometimes. Oh, I, I haven't actually physically been there yet, so that's a good good to know. Oh. I'll, uh, I'll st take it out before. Yeah. Uh, well, and then the hotel that it's in used to be the Ramada, and now it's a different hotel. It's right next to, next to Crooked Pint, so yeah, it's oh, a little okay. confusing for folks. It's to not get there, it's not so. next to Crooked Pint anymore. Right? Yeah, it is. Oh, it is still. Yeah, on South Broadway. Oh, okay. Wow. I don't know. Did it right. used to be like you live here? What about, uh, well, I know it's next all to Crooked I know is Pine the Applebee's. on South Broadway. <laughs> well, it's not by the Applebee's. Well, all right. That. Well, I'll have to tell the ladies to walk. But right Applebee's is open until midnight, so you have a lot of time to yeah. get to Applebee's. The hostesses wear sensible shoes. They'll be all right. They're on their feet a lot. I think I know where Nick Jansen's going to be this weekend. He's going to be checking out Goonies Comedy Club. <laughs> <laughs> Goonies Comedy Club, you will be there 7.30 tonight and tomorrow. Absolutely. What can people expect from you? Uh, a lot of dragon talk. Uh, I, I get a lot you of Applebee's talk about uh, uh, shirts thrown at me. A lot of uh, staff clothing comes He's at me. Lying. You know, people would throw underwear at Tom Jones. I get a lot of, uh, I get a lot of flair. Mm. A lot of Applebee's flair. Okay, you know? and flair from the dragons yeah, too. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So wow. Yeah, it'll be a lot of that. It'll be mostly this. Uh, I know you won't be on stage with me unless you come, and then we could just do this for forty-five. We minutes. could. I don't know how funny it would be, but I am going to. Seems look like up it's working facts. pretty good. I'm, I'm crushing the weather, guys. I, I am going to look up the. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> I'm going to look up the facts behind that. Dun dun. Come sure. On, All right. I'll well, get come, that. Come and tell we me. We can bring tonight. that to the stage. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness, tickets are still available. You can find them on our website. Can you KBBC. believe it? Can you com. believe tickets are still available with hey, all this? It's gonna be a sellout after this. I, I think I think so. it will be. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for thanks for having me. Oh man. Again, more details on KTDC.com. Hey,